It's just been reported that over a hundred thousand hens were taken out in a fire, and this happened at Hillendale Farms. On the 28th of January, firefighters received a call that a huge fire had engulfed Hillendale Farms on Swatch Road on Saturday. Over 16 crews and a hundred firefighters responded and tackled the flames, with them saying that there was extensive damage to their farm and chicken coop. As of right now, very little information has been released by authorities, and they said that investigations are currently taking place in order to better understand the details of the damage. The Department of Agriculture said that approximately 100,000 egg-laying hens passed away due to the fire. Officials who later came in said the cause of the fire remains under investigation, and that everyone working at the egg processing facility made it out okay. One user said the following, Many people are going to call this out as being nothing but a coincidence, but what me and others are noticing is a pattern. These events always seem to play out when there's a shortage happening, like how this happened to the food processing plants a while back. Another user said this, What we're seeing is a pattern of events. Today is one egg processing facility, but over the course of two years it's been over 20 food processing facilities, many of which were hit by a plane. I don't understand how people don't see patterns. This user said the following, I'm convinced that something is happening right now to farms in the United States, and would even go as far as saying that they're being attacked. We keep being told that food processing plants is being affected by things like climate and poverty, but when officials are talking about this issue, no one seems to be mentioning the countless food processing plants that are going up in flames. And if I had to take a wild guess, I would assume this has something to do with food distribution. I understand that investigations need to take place in order to better understand what's happening, but it feels like these stories make the news for a few days and then completely vanish. Others though didn't buy that the fire was set on purpose with one person saying the following. You do realise that these barns are for things like electrical equipment, wood and heaters, things that are great at catching on fire. Also, we have no proof that anything strange is going on. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Well, this user said the following. We have no evidence that these fires have been created on purpose to hurt food production. Yes, the fires may be happening at food processing plants, but I believe this is completely random, and as of right now there's no evidence to suggest that anyone is doing this on purpose to hurt the food industry. I think people are angry and are just looking at something to blame due to how much food has increased. These past few years there have been tough for many people, and it's for this reason my people are on high alert. In April 2022, a number of fires were reported to have happened at food processing plants in the United States, which led many Americans to worry that this could be causing a food shortage. Already in the past few years we've experienced a number of shortages, from medical supplies, manufacturing and consumer goods and also certain foods. Some have come forward and questioned why these food processing plants are catching on fire, with one report stating that there's been a number of strange things happening around these plants. For example, one story goes that a small plane crashed into a General Mills plant in Georgia. The Federal Aviation Administration stated that the unidentified plane crashed within a mile of the runway of Covington Airport. Sadly, local officials stated that no one survived, but there's still many details that are not known about the incident. Some people have questioned why so many news stations aren't covering these stories. In an interview with KSBW Action News, Bruce Taylor, chairman and CEO of Taylor Fresh Foods, detailed that a fire at the company's processing facility devastated the area, saying that it's a total write-off, but they did say they planned to rebuild the area that was affected by the fire. He said that he believes that they'll have a new plant up and running, the local fire department used drones to get a better idea of what was going on in the area, saying that the fire started on April 13th, 
and that after initial investigations they think the fires were caused by a welding accident. Once the fire department investigated further, they revealed the shipping docks were also hit by the fire, and they were also heavily damaged. But Bruce Taylor did say that he thinks this area may be salvageable, but did go on to say that the processing floor is not. As of right now, officials have estimated that over 20 fires have been started at food processing plants in the last six months, and investigations are still carrying out in order to see what's going on. One user said the following, I hope this isn't some messed up new trend where people go to these food facilities and deliberately set them on fire. There's enough shortages in the world right now, and if someone is doing this on purpose, that's really messed up. So what do you make of these strange reports? Why do you think so many fires are happening at food processing plants? Do you think it's random or is something else going on? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.